Hi everybody, Jerome right here again, and you're with me on my um, Jeronification channel. Um, what you're looking at is the um, is the caption of um, a newly released movie here. Actually, a newly a released movie in my area, I guess, March the 1st, just a few days ago. And yeah, released in theaters. And it's... Um, is Jack the Giant Slayer. Now, I really don't pay attention to movies and all of that, even though um, there are some that actually captures my attention. Um, because they are, the artists and the directors in these, in these movies, they have a direct link and a knowledge to a, a ancient secret that actually um, details the true evolution of mankind. Now, when I seen the caption for this, this actually flashed over my YouTube channel as I'm sitting there minding my business and doing my videos here for my channel. I actually um this this um this um caption pops up and um it's the advertisement for for the movie. So once I seen these faces, first of all, once I seen these faces, I began, my memory started flicking through all of the paintings, the Renaissance artist paintings that I, um, I said, or I dealt with and said that they had encrypted messages. And because I knew these faces, I knew these faces. I was instinctively drawn to them because they are related to the faces of our ancient ancestors that calls for our genetic manipulation. So I started going through, and I, I mean, as I'm doing this, I'm seeing things. I'm seeing apes and stuff back here, and, and, the, and the, I guess this is the beanstalk back here. So I'm saying to myself, and all, I said, um, "Oh, I'm not going to let this go." I said, "I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this apart," and I stayed with this. Um, it took a whole, I said, a whole less than two minutes before I realized where these faces are detailed at. And they come from the 14th century, from a 14th century um, artist. And that famous artist is Leonardo da Vinci. These faces came from the artworks of Leonardo da Vinci and their reference and I'm almost a hundred percent sure that we will find them detailed in other Renaissance artist artworks because these faces repre represent mutations from genetic bridgings over that of our ancient black and um, an ape ancestor here let me um, let me show you those faces are identical, identically matched to these faces. Hold on, let me make sure I have the right one. Because I have, I have drawings on one that I don't. Uh, this might be the one that I do have the drawings on. Let me set that to the side. Not ready for that yet. Okay. Look. You see these faces? These are Leonardo da Vinci's faces. I forget the, the title of this. Um, one is The Study of Five Men. And I guess I don't know what the name of, of this one actually is. But these faces are directly linked. To these faces right here these are this is a, these are stolen images from that of Leonardo da Vinci now <clears throat> why would these images be stolen from Leonardo da Vinci artwork because they are a reference a hidden reference to how we were created, and that's the reason why these uh, these um, these faces are encrypted here. I'm gonna go more into detail, but then that signifies. Now I didn't even watch this movie. I was gonna go out and watch it last night, and I said, Nah. I watched some um, clips of it and all. So that means that the storyline 
with this with this movie <clears throat> has an encrypted message, a hidden message that details the genetic bridging of mankind. And <clears throat> it says something giant is coming. Um, I bet there is. What what's going on is that there's hidden messages behind these movies these Hollywood blockbusters and, and, and movies that you just totally miss. I, I've seen a similar thing in The Hobbit and there's other movies that um, that I've seen that I didn't uh, that I have written down in my notes and everything the details because these just like um, 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 Jack and the Beanstalk and um, what was the other one um, oh gosh there was another one that um that escapes me right now but what these movies are messaging to you is not an outwardly battle as being depicted in these in these images in the movies in the story punchline but an inward battle what it's referencing is genetic warfare genetic battles oh with um david and goliath the same exact thing the same exact message is being stated what is shown is that how smaller genetics are taking on the giant of the genetics which was that of our originating ancestors and that's where these storylines are coming from they have nothing to do with these with these actual beings in the outwardly physical sense but on the inwardly physical sense and the mutations that came from genetic bridgings and that's why you are so captivated by these movies they are a part of you. They are inside part of you, from which which you evolved. They're giving you. They're taking a secret ancient knowledge and selling it back to you in the form of movies. Something that you should have known about yourself. It's it's something about you. It's like you know. It's like not knowing who your true mother and father is. But yet, every day you're, you're well, not every day, but in movies you'll see and you'll see their faces on the screen and say, "Damn, I feel like I have a connection to these people." I don't know what is it about these people that I'm so drawn to them about. And here you're watching your true mother and your father and your true ancestral um, um, being on TV, and you're not realizing what it is, but you, I mean, you like the hell out of it, so you keep going back and watching the. The other, um, the part of it, part one, part two, and part three, and all of this other mess, because you like it. And the reason why you like it is because you're instinctively drawn to it. These people that make these such movies are catering to something that is part of you. Okay? Now, I'm going to get back to this. These faces. Each one of these faces, from Leonardo da Vinci's drawing of these... These are, uh, I don't know if you would call them gross teak heads. I know he has one out of gross teak heads. It can be identified and associated with the likenesses right here. I wish I could do a side by side. But each one of these faces are the same as what is here. I'm going to show you something else because there actually are some more heads. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna identify one head specifically because it stands out more I mean uh, more better than the, the, this one right here this is um I think this one is Leonardo da Vinci's study of uh, five men heads or something I'm gonna break this down for you right there you see that head that head is the head of this guy right here. I guess this will be the main um, character in the, um, in the in the in the screenplay there. First of all, it looks like I can see an ape right here. See that that black face right there? Eye socket, nose, and mouth. Now, if you see the it, see it in the um, on the uh, on the actual image, you probably just see a, a beanstalk or whatever this is actually back here. But I can see multi-dimensional images, and that's what draws me to this, to my extinct, extinctive um, 
draw to these things. But I'm gonna I'm gonna break down some nice things and all. I'm just I'm just rambling on right now, people. This is gonna get better. I promise you, because I'm gonna be divulging how Da Vinci arrived at making these effaces, and that people is gonna be a blockbuster in itself. All right, I'm gonna show you some things about this guy right here. First of all. <coughs> As I was looking at clippings of of this of this guy, who I know that I'm identifying his face with Leonardo's um, Da Vinci's drawing, I started seeing flash screens images of this movie. So, anytime something flashes past me, I don't care how fast it's going, if even if it's just for a millisecond. I can see the faces of our ancestors because I know that this guy is referencing that of our ape ancestor and genetically be, um, overcoming the genetics from being black to white. And I know that it sounds so bizarre and crazy, but if I can prove it, then that bizarre and crazy goes away. This flash, this this flashing of this guy's face right here, what you don't see, and what most people will never see until I showed it to them, is in the background in the rocks where there's an indication of these genetic bridges and these alterings and these hidden messages. Look at all of these here, these defining features of this guy's headwear. They're back here as well, too. Look right there. See that point right there? You see, that point is the same as that point. And look here, and you will see the same thing coming here. And then you just go to his chin. And there's a chin back here. And this is the rocks in the background, people. This is hidden in the rocks. I'm trying to draw on it. You see his lips right there? There's the lips right here. There's a mouth opening. See his nose? There's the nose right there, and I'm coming over, and you see his eye? There's the eye socket right there, and you know what this is? This is an ape image in the background, in the, in the rock's background, and it shows you that this guy is telling you that he's actually genetically this guy right here that's hidden in the rocks. It's an, <clears throat> it's an encryption style that is in a lot of Renaissance artists' artworks because it evolved from the real thing, which I can actually show you as well too. Now, I'm going to show you this in a smaller form where we have the lips and all so you can see the likeness of the monkey wearing the helmet in the background, which I've identified this monkey in many Renaissance artists' artworks and, and in many things. Now, look at the ape's face now. Everything that I have just told you, look at the side by side, right there. There's the nose, look at the lips, the chin, and the eye socket. Now when you watch this movie, of course it's going to flash past you real quick. But those that of you that are instinctively drawn to this, like I am, know the symbolization of what this is being said. I know the message behind this. You would never see this unless I told you. That's a side by side of this guy with his ape ancestor. Now, I want to get to. Oh, let me do. Let me do one more. Here, yeah. let me show you one. Um, another. I'm gonna take you to Leonardo's because this guy's nose is unique. He has a unique nose. I'm going to show you that nose in the works of Leonardo da Vinci. And um, I'm going to show you something about this. Oh, hold on. Let me bring this in closer and see if you can you can see that ape better. Because I do have... Let me see here. Let me see if you can see that ape image. You see that ape? I can bring that in closer for you. See the hidden, the hidden image back there? Look at the lips, people. I just showed you that similar creature in, um, I guess, in the New York Security Council chambers that um, 
the image of that ape wearing that the same type of headwear in the um in the pearl crawl painting. That was the last image that I showed you in it. Um, I showed you that 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 that, that creature. He's also depicted in nebulae matter and the uh, Orion nebulae mass, the same the same exact way, with this headgear on, in one of my um 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 what you call them, you have to see here one of my videos, and where else did um. He's practically in every in, in everything, but there's a few videos that I have that this same exact image appears just like that, okay? And it's a representation that's being made because there's an indication of how mankind was genetically altered from going from this likeness to our black ancestral likeness to this likeness, and that's what this is all about, <clears throat> okay? Let me make sure that I'm. Oh gosh, this early this morning this <coughs> Alright. I'm gonna show you something with Leonardo. I'm gonna bring this to Leonardo da Vinci's again. Because this gets good people. So hang in there with me. I'm just rambling on. It's early in the morning here. I just wanna show you. Uh let me take that down for a minute. I'm gonna show you something. This is where. Uh, this is that character, and he has, I guess, a head attached to his, to his shoulder, right there. I'm gonna show. You. Look at that nose, people. There's no mistake in that nose and that face. Look at that. You see that nose? The way that nose is made. Look at that face and that look. Look at that nose, that point on that nose. There's no mistake in that nose from nowhere. You know what I mean? That's that's a special nose in itself. Alright. Then I guess this is his other head that's on his shoulder. He has attaching his shoulder. Alright. Then you have the skull with the horns. Now this is all in Leonardo da Vinci work. But you just don't see it until I can show it to you. But now that I show it to you, you can go and verify it. Alright? So I'm going to show you where this is all in Leonardo da Vinci's work. You see that nose? And that face? I'm going to do a side by side. Because there it is right there. The same exact nose. The same exact face. Right there in the Leonardo's Da Vinci's work. It gets better, people. So just hang in there. Hold on. Let me see if I can bring that in. Look at that. Look at that nose. There's no mistake in that nose. Look at that. The point. You see that? Look at that face, people. There's no mistaking that face. You see that? Look. Now, I should be able to, now, to, to, to prove to you that that's the same exact reference that's being made. You see that face? Look. I'm going to show you the skull. And the other faces that's attaching the arm of that face. And here, right in there, and here, the same exact reference that is here is here. Now I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to show that to you, because I have it drawn out. Um, let me give you the skull first. Now, this is from um, Jack the Giant Slayer, and this is from Leonardo da Vinci's 14th century drawings. Now, 
I gotta give you that skull. I'm gonna give you that skull. Right here in the side of the face. I'm gonna give you the skull. I might have to bring this in closer. And I have it on the I have it already drawn out, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. First of all, here. I have the skull drawn out for you. Right here, there's that face. Look at that face, people. Look at that nose. No mistake in that nose. Look at that. And that face. Let's go back to that again. There's no mistake in that face. Look at that. Taken from Leonardo da Vinci. There's no mistake in that face. Now, morphing that face is the skull. There's the, this would be the left eye socket of the skull right there. Then it comes down and, this, and it captures over top of the top lip and it has two teeth shown as we would see in the, in the skull. There's one and there's two. And it shows the skull morphing the likeness of the face and the bottom jaw area is right here. So the entire skull is right there then it shows the other portion of the skull where it's getting flesh morphing which indicates genetics right here off to the side of that skull morphing that skull around right in here where the skull is at there's another being and presence genetic presence morphing that which I know what both are indicating and symbolizing you see it right there? So, when you look at Da Vinci's painting, this painting, bring this painting, it gets better, people. It gets it gets much better than that. This, this is nothing to what I'm going to reveal to you here in this, about Leonardo's. Because this is going to be irrelevant. I'm divulging an ancient encryption style of Leonardo Da Vinci's and also um, divulging a presence in this painting that was never seen before until now and I just released in this video. Okay? Based on it being identical to the message that's being referenced in um, Jack the um, the Giant Slayer movie that was just released okay there's the skull right here there's no mistake in it it's a match right there okay now that's the indication of what is being said here so what is being said here well, the same thing when you see that skull laying at the foot of the cross of that of Jesus, and when you see the cross, I mean that skull with Mary Magdalene, it's all stating the same exact thing. Here, let me show you what it looks like in raw form before I continue on with Leonardo da Vinci. I'm going to draw this out a little bit. That I'm going to show you what they're stating with that skull. This is this is what they're trying to tell you. Through my paranormal experience and encounter. I can read exactly what they're telling me. And this is what it is right here. Can you see that? You have a skull with a horn being that was stolen from a museum in Pennsylvania. Okay? And tied around the skull is almost like a, a reef like um like a horn reef like what you would see around Jesus' head and then it has almost like a um, like a Jewish cap on it, I forgot what you call them, but on the skull. The skull was stolen from a, um, from a museum back in the early 19th century from a museum in Pennsylvania after it was discovered like either uh, by a synagogue or somewhere out there, a, a parish or something. There was a few of them and they were all stolen. But this is the message that's actually being said. shows you how this being evolved from these beings and I know exactly what they are and as you can see you see our ape right there notice that the ape has that the headwear on do you can you see what the headwear is now you can't see can you yeah, this is what they're telling you 
You see what that is now? That's the tail of a shark. Can't see that, can you? There you go. There's the ape. There's the eye of the ape coming over the bridge of the nose, and there's the mouth. Through my multidimensional sense of awareness and it being, I know what all of this means. And this is why I can draw this out for you like this here. Because I see things that would otherwise normally wouldn't even be seen. I know exactly what's being said here. Because, and those that have seen this will be afraid. You know why? Because they'll know that I am truly a visionary in seeing this. Now, I'm going to keep going. I just wanted to share that with you for a minute. Okay? Look through all my discoveries, and you'll see something similar to this. But seeing it on this horn skull is something very different for me. Okay? But that's the same thing as being said here. And you see that leather over top of the skull. Okay, and coming down draped over his body, and you see it coming to a reptilian um, um, skin and all of that. That is what is being said. This is in raw form. Now I'm going to show you what Leonardo da Vinci has to say about all of this. Now if you've seen, this is my version in raw form. This is this director's version. Now here's Leonardo da Vinci's version of this. Are you with me? Because it's gonna get it's gonna get good because seeing hearing me say it and, and, and then seeing me point it out or here, oh it's not you have to hear it from a person that, that's been dubbed as the best that ever that, that was in the business of, of making artwork and then seeing it there. Now Leonardo da Vinci is saying it in raw form too. But no one has never seen it until now, until I've shown you that it exists. So what is Leonardo da Vinci saying about all of this? Now that I showed you the skull, let me see if you can see the person that's attaching the head there, because it actually gets better. Alright, what you don't see. Um, let me give you that person that's attaching the shoulder right there of this guy that guy right there and in fact is that it might huh. that may be what what that is I'm gonna I'm gonna see in a minute but check this out what they're stating you see right here this is a person that you don't see right here. Coming over the bridge in the nose. You see this man's hair, his nose? In between them, there's a, th uh, there's a, there's a sixth person. Right here. There's his nose. There's his mouth. And there's his chin. And then encrypted in his chin, chin right there, is a primate. See the mouth? Okay, this is at the forehead of the primate. There's an image of a primate right here right there in the chin and this guy's lips is right there at the lips of this person right here that you can't see right here in this there's a there's a head right here that's decoded right encrypted right there see it right there it's morphing it's in between these three faces it's indicating that they're being bridged over what are they being bridged over well it shows you this is a primate this is a black person right here that they're bridged over. You see the primate? So what are they being bridged over with? That black person's semen. His sperm. Oh, think it's kidding? You think this is a joke thing I'm playing, right? These are the testicles in the chin showing you that this guy is genetically bridged with the semen. Look at the penis shaft. Extend out in this direction to this guy's mouth. And, chin, and then look in his throat area and you see the other end of the pe penis exiting right there and there's the head shown in the fle in his flesh and his throat there's the testicles there's the shaft of the penis 
and there's the head of the penis shown in his throat, showing you that all of them engage these genetics, and that's why this mouth is there at this mouth, at those testicles going to that mouth and going down. And look, now it, it gets better, people. Just hang in there with me for a minute. Now that I just seen this on the screen, I'm looking here. And I'm not for certain, I'm not going to say this is a match, but I believe that this is the same object right here. And I just seen it, now this is not a clear image here, and I just seen it just now. Just seen it. So I'm not for certain, but we'll see later if that is an image of a penis right there. I would almost be willing to say yes, but I'm not for certain yet. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go there, but... I'm almost, everything here is a match with the face, the skull, okay, and that head. So I'm assuming that this, these, these, this is all a match right here. One, two, three. So I'm assuming that this object here is a match to this penis. Now, it gets better. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's never ending, people. It's never ending. Now, where were we? You see the, the, the face, that, that encrypted face right here? The skull, the bottom jaw area of the skull creates like a horn that comes over, over top of the eyebrow there, okay? That's the, the bone line, or the chin line of the skull that's encrypted in the face here. It creates the horn. Which represents these horns here, letting you know the bloodline of what is actually being indicated here, which I know what it is too, by the way, people. All right, now let's go here. Let's follow this penis because this penis has a journey. Now, this is an this is an ape penis, meaning indicating genetics of a black man. You see the primate's face and the chin of this guy here. There's the mouth again, people. Look right there. There's the mouth. There's the nose. Look how the skin is twisted around there. Okay, we're at the eye there. There's a face. It's indicating this is the face or the genetics of a black person. These beings are, are bridged over that penis, over that sperm. It's telling you that's the sperm. There's the penis. I want to call it a dick, but I'm going to say a penis. Okay, for the sake. Look, you see that? Showing you it's in his throat. This guy, he, yeah. They all saying that we drank this black man, this black person. We all bridged over this semen, this cum of this person. Everybody here is telling you that by this penis being at their mouths. You see that? That's what they're saying. Now, where are these genetics going? There's a genetic trail. They go from here, there, here, there. And back around, and then they're showing you a little a new genetic right here being created. And it came out. And you see that that snaking over. The, you see that? See the new genetics? There's a genetic thing being taken out there. Let me oh, hold, hold on. Let me show you how it gets over there. First of all, look first at how this penis, these testicles, the veins, are shown veining out and going back as there's this bridging is taking place this is very important because it shows you something that there's a rebridging over it's just not the penis is being there in the face of the ape and this other face here it shows you a exact and precise genetic procedure where there is a cyclonation of these genetics and a rebridging as the process is taking place oh let me show you you see the chin here of this guy, of this Caesar looking character. Look at the penis and that's in his throat. Look at how the veins are reveined back out into his chin. Okay? And then it actually shows you when this penis is taken off. Look at this here. This snaky looking object here coming around from behind his, his neck. Look at how that vein swings around, shows you a, a recross. Um, 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 cross manipulation, cross bridging of those genetics and then brought back out again. It's specifically telling you 
what is taking place. It's not just them sucking each other penises and, and genetically bridging over the black. It's showing you that these genetics are being introduced and then being bridged over and it's showing you how their the manipulations that's being taken place and actually showing you mutations. Each one of these phases identify with a specific time frame of these genetics being bridged over and these different likenesses that are taking place genetically. Now look, here's a serpent right here at this penis showing you an encrypted code that this serpent is sucking the penis. See the, the mouth there? Well, lo and behold, if you follow the trail and the tail of this serpent, it comes right back here. And look at the other small penis that's encrypted in this Caesars like character's flower headdress. And you see the other head of this penis right here, and you see semen squirting off of it into not just this mouth, but there is a little head of a being shown drinking the fluid that's being ejected from this penis ejected from this penis and there's a little being right there with the semen going in its mouth so not only do you have this guy with the mouth wide open drinking the semen you have a little head in there that is shown doing the same thing and then showing that these these this vein like that I'm showing you over here bridging is shown here as well too bridging off of this guy with a horn on his head all of this is symbolic of what is actually being stated by not just Leonardo da Vinci but every renaissance artist you know why people because this is the holy grail as to who you are and these people know it. now look here at this penis here now there's another genetic bridging going on across the chin. Look at this alligator looking creature that is right here. Now look at now I'm gonna show you something first of all because this this really gets good. I'm gonna bring you back to here because I'm not done here yet. Oh no 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 no. It's not just just that simple. Look at the tail. This is the alligator looking creature right here. Look. Now look at what's in its mouth. And look at all of these veiny looking objects going back into in here, then on this, then this here, people, is the tree of life, showing you that the tree of life has been reconstructed by these people. You see that? And I'm going to come back to this because there's a bunch of other reptilians that I got to bring into this. But I'm going to show you something. Let's go across his forehead. And follow. Now we have an alligator right here. Now all of these encryptions you've done seen in these Renaissance artist artworks. Okay. So let's come back across here. Snaking around and at the ear, you see these genetic bridgings. Look at this, people. Look in the ear. Look at these creatures here. And then look. Remember I told you that this this is shown where this creature is snaking off. It's looping around, coming around, and spinning around, showing you a new genetic alignment. It's two um, um, branches of this genetic um, strand that's actually branched off. And then there's the new genetic there. And then there's the manipulated genetic as well, new there. Shows you two breakdowns of mankind's genetics initiating from that of our ape African black ancestor. Blood and semen broken down and Leonardo da Vinci has it. How is it broken down? Oh, I didn't tell you that part. Well, hold on, let me take a sip of my coffee first because this has got my throat a little dry. Well, reptilians. There's a reptilian introduction of our of our um, um, of our genes. Well, actually, we evolved from the reptilians anyway, which I can prove. Okay, because just as I'm reading this to you, I can read that to you as well too. The other encryption. And besides that, people, I am having a true paranormal experience and encounter. Let, let me not leave this out. This is how I found this stuff in the first place. I am not just looking at pictures and seeing this. I actually experienced a true, uh, I would say, a connection to everything that I am showing you here. And in all of this, I had an out-of-body experience where I was taken into space and I looked back on our world. And when I came back, boy, oh boy, 
seeing what I what I'm doing here is nothing. I mean, imagine living this in in the real sense. I mean, this is this is something. It's like like a genetic vein that I am inside of, and I mean, there's nothing that I mean. I just can't see. I can't understand. I mean, it's just like if it references our evolution, our existence, and our being. I'm there with it. You know what I mean? So. Um, I can't, it's not, not better said than that. If you haven't seen my videos, you must see them all. Because I've had a true experience that put me in, in with this. And I'm telling you right now, people, that, I mean, you can't, I mean, look at this image from its true form. You can't, you can't see this stuff, people. Look, you cannot see this. The only way that you can see this stuff is that you have to be connected to it. I'm connected to this, all right. So I'm not going to try to prove anything to you. I know what I am, and and and, and that's and that's all it said. You can just sit back and watch how my videos are not a never ending, and I can continue to do this over and over and over and over again because there's no end. But anyway, let me keep going. They broke down the genetics of our African ape ancestor, which is depicted here in the chin. They they don't just put a black man there because. If they did, then it would be game over. They would, you would know that this black man will. Damn, they're bridging over a black man, and this is what they're signifying. In some of Paul Rubin's um, artwork, you will see that Paul Rubin puts the black man in, in 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 that mix. And I think in Drunken Hercules, you will see the uh, um, the black man. And drunken Hercules pinching on Hercules' ass cheek, has his tongue out and showing him bridging over, reaching over to a woman with his tongue all out of his mouth, indicating that he was genetically bridged, like he's being indicating here. So Paul Rubens actually has this indication out of the black person being in there, and some others blatantly put it in there as well too. But here, seeing it here, me showing it to you, the chin which is actually dubbing as the testicles and the chin of this primate creature that's right there. Look at this people, how this look at look at look, let's let's go through this again before I move on again and show you the um the reptilians. Here you have an encrypted face of a fourth person in between these three individuals. Well, besides the skull and the other encrypted images as well too. That person's mouth is genetically attached to these veins. Look, at the top chin with that vein there, and then at his bottom lip with that vein there of these testicles. His chin, this person's chin, has the image of a primate in it. Now, that primate is contacted with the lips of this guy, the lips of this guy, and connected to the mouth and the lips of this guy genetically by the image of a well-shaped informed penis shown going into this person's mouth and it shown say look my mouth is not open but look the other end of this penis is in my throat because I suck this black person's penis and genetically they are now in me now and the other end of the penis is shown in his throat, and it's shown the veins connected, anchored in to this person, as they are shown anchored in to this person. All genetic bridging. Now, we're being bridged over by this primate, African American's genetics, and we're breaking down those genetics with reptilian bloodlines and genetics. Ancient genetics that were preserved. So, where do we get these ancient genetics from? We went back into the tree of life 
founding genetics and got these genetics. That's why this Caesar like looking cap is on, which actually now tells you this is why the Romans wear this, this veil over their head, because it's, it represents that the tree, the flower, the branches of life. So, if you look closely in the back here, you will see these creatures that symbolize those creatures which have reptilian and dinosaur faces now I'm going to bring this in closer because there's something here that I want to I want to make mention here you see these creatures here um, I better come in from this side here I guess where we at Look at the teeth and the mouth, how the mouth is separated. And there's more to this than that to people, but look. Look at these faces. They are here. And then look at the veins. How the veins meticulously come from out of this creature. There's two of them. There's one here. And then there's a line of separation. There's the other one there. And look at how these veins. Look, there's the eye. There's the mouth. You see that? They're snaky, likey, looky creatures, which represents... Um, our ancient dinosaur ancestor look the bloodlines look you see that right there now look at this people how this meticulously you see the veins meticulously snaking off of each one and it shows you how they were bridged over look look at this vein coming out of this creature look at this coming out coming out and coming over and look where it's going look into the mouth of that crocodile right there look at that that alligator creature looking creature right there on the other end of that the, the other snake and you see that the snake and all now look check this out look look at these genetics shown from both of them shown that they were cross referenced Did, look didn't just come from this creature up to this creature or this creature to that to this creature it shows it's because they don't have two straight lines you know what they show you that they were cross referenced in between look they were crossed right here look how they both come and entwine over top of each other, showing you that they were cross-referenced into one and then into this creature and then shown going out and bridged over mankind. Look at this. And then look. And then it shows you another path from just this creature after this creature was cross-referenced with this creature. Now look, there's two paths, people. Look. This vein comes out, one goes over here to this guy, and one comes over here to this guy. People. Now, oh, hold on, I'm not done. Hold on, because it, it, it still gets better and all that. Leonardo da Vinci, I mean, people spent their entire lives they died went to their graves trying to figure Leonardo da Vinci out I owe this to them I owe this to you so I should actually give you more in this video than than I previously would anyway because I mean I don't want to keep you guessing on what's going on and all maybe I better go ahead because I can read the, all Leonardo da Vinci's work his study of the brain his, his, his study of the heart all of this here because Leonardo da Vinci is genetically telling us who we are now and this penis right here that's coming out of the Caesar looking character's head, this flower of life, where, where these reptilians are right here, it indicates these reptiles right here, their faces, indicate that <clears throat> there was a reptilian ape, as I showed you in, in my Vatican images. On the Nervy Hall image. I'm not going to bring that image back up again because I've brought it up a thousand times. But there's a reptilian ape image in Nervy Hall. Then there's one on the um, on the Kupta painting, which was air um or um a drawing, which was um appeared in the London Times or affiliated Times, I believe, in 1901, I believe it was. And there's a reptilian ape there. I I'm the first person that ever stated that there is a reptilian ape ancestor okay first one ever I mean this is new to to our world we had a reptilian ape ancestor so I mean reptilian to the bone okay and 
the real likeness of this is right there in Nervi Hall in the Fizzini, Fizzini sculpture. All right, so if you want to see that ape, go to my Fizzini Nervi Hall um, um, painting. Okay, the reptilian bloodlines of Jesus, where Jesus is actually emerging from that of a of a um, a reptile, a snake's head. Okay, so I'm not going to bring that image up because I don't want to get sidetracked and I don't want to go looking for that, and I don't have it right here, else I would. Okay, now this penis. is with the image of an ape in it. This penis that's coming off of this Caesar looking character's headpiece, there's the mouth of the ape. Not just the mouth of the ape, just like it is in you know what, I better do I have that Vatican image here? Because I want to show you something here. Do I have that image? If I have that image, I'm gonna show you because that ape has in its mouth a genetic strand. Let me see if I can show you what's going on with that. Oh, we're in luck. I believe I have it here. I may not have to go through too much to find that. Where are you at? You may be in luck. I don't know if I can show you with this though, because I don't have this. I don't have it drawn out on this one. Let me see if I can find another one. I want to show you something about that ape. Uh, these these videos are unscripted, people, so therefore I'm not readily prepared. I must admit that. There, everything here is completely amateur. Uh, this might be it right here. So, <clears throat> all right. So, basically, what's going on in this guy's head, right here, this seizure-looking guy's head, is what they're stating here, Finzini. In the Nervy Hall sculpture, this is not one that I've written on. This is just, okay. <clears throat> is what's being said here. Where you have Jesus hanging in this, in this mass right here. And his body's emerging from that of a serpent. Which is right here that I showed you. And all you have to do is just Google the image, turn it sideways. Of course, I put the whites in the eye and the pupil. But the snakes, the serpent's eye socket is right there just like that. And again, all of these features, all I did was just darken them and enhance them. These defining features of this, this, this serpent's mouth, like just right here, you can do the same exact thing and come up with the same exact image. All I did was just enhance the lines that were already there to bring the image to you. I showed the image, I'm showing you something that is already there, in other words, and just put whites on his teeth. That's it, everything is already there. I added nothing but just enhancements, that's it. And all I did was just fill in the body, the, the lines of the snake that was already there. That's it. So when you Google this image, you will see Jesus' body emerging from that of this serpent. Alright? Right there. Compelling. Now, at the bottom, you will see your dear Pope and his cardinals off to either side. But this is what I'm, I'm bringing this image back up again for. This guy. Our reptilian ape ancestor. That is right here. You see that penis at his at his. There's a penis there. To dig, two penises that creates his cranial. There's the head. This is the head here of one penis, and then there's the second penis. It's a bent over penis, and it comes around. And there's the second penis. It creates the cranial of this reptilian ape. There's the right eye socket of that ape. There's the left eye socket. There's the bridge of the nose. There's the right nostril of that ape. There's the left nostril of that ape. We overtop the primate's reptilian top lip area and in that reptilian's mouth is a genetic linking chain you see these links right here it goes into the primate's mouth which is right here 
and comes over to the other side and shows you a link. Okay, what is the links being made with? You come over here. You see that link coming here? I know what all of this is, people. There's the other end of that chain, and then you see over here another genetic link, and then you see this snaky like guy coming through the snake's mouth right here, and then you see this mass, this new worm here creature being made, that new genetic strand. Well, people, that's the same thing that is right here. Now, the reptilian primate. You see that genetic linking chain in the reptilian primate's mouth right here? That chain I just showed you right there? Well, people, the same exact reptilian uh, ape is right there, and there's the chain going through its mouth right there. And what is it shown bri being bridged over? The tree of life, or the wheel of life, which evolves mankind's genetics, which are being altered. And it's right there. There's the ape's bottom chin, um, um, chin, um, um, lip. There's his top lip, nostril, nostril, nose area, eye, eye. And it's showing you these genetics in the form of that ape's penis. It's also a penis. Now hold on now. This and look, and then it's going into this guy's open mouth, which there's another being right here that's receiving that. But hold on, people, because remember I said that this, these are penises at on the top of this guy's head that creates his cranial. Look, look at this reptilian face here, people. I said that these are penises. So, long and behold, we have a penis here with an ape's face in it. And shows you the genetic linking chain going through its mouth and there. And every indication that's being made here is identical to what's here. A snake with a new genetic strand coming out of its mouth, looped over, look, a new one, and it has a face on it. There's a mouth, there's an eye, there's a head, and then it's shown that being branched over, bridged over. People, here's our snake. Come in here, come in around, come in around, bent around, and a new genetic strand being taken out. Everything is interlinking because forget the Holy Grail. This is something far greater. And this discovery of mine is linking that to not just of everything in our world but also everything that is in existence in space. And that's what makes my discoveries, my understanding of my discoveries, far greater than anything that has ever come to our world. Because I am not just linked to our planet. I'm linked to everything that is beyond our planet. And this all here is child's play for me. Everything that you believe, everything that you understand, everything that you have come to understand, I can take it apart just like this. And this is why these movies, which I actually started out on, can be taken apart. These movies that are on our television sets, I can take apart because they reference something that came before before there was this we have renaissance artists that stated the same exact thing so these faces people are the same as these faces right here the message that Leonardo da Vinci is in that I just broke down for you it's the same message that's being stated here. They turned it into movie form. It's amazing. And then sell it. They market it to you. They market an ancient knowledge to you. They won't tell you. It. Only a select few have this knowledge. They don't tell you who you are or where you are. 
but yet they bottle it up and they market it to you and sell it to you. What better Ponzi scheme <laughs> scheme is there than that? Not only are they getting your money at the at the at the at the uh, box office, they also getting your money at the um at the um uh, at the collection plate when you go to um the church. This is crazy. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. I'm out, people.